Well, hello, I'm Paul Kessler. I'm the principal of Batavia High School, and I'm here with two more of our seniors. I have with me today Carissa Waldmiller and Charles Burton, and uh, we're going to talk with them today. I'm going to start with Carissa. Carissa, what has been one of your favorite things uh, that has happened at Batavia High School? Um, I'd have to say homecoming is, it was always one of my favorite things to look forward to in the beginning of the school year. Um, I love seeing all the school spirit and everyone just coming together to celebrate. It was probably one of the best memories I'll have forever. So, yeah, it is a lot of fun. And I really enjoyed seeing you, uh, MC, uh, part of the yeah. event as well. So that was, that was awesome. Who's a teacher that's had a positive impact on you while you've been at Batavia High School? Um, I'd have to say Mrs. Tenebruso. I had her my freshman year and my senior year, and she's always been like almost like a mom to me in school. She um, always helped me if I ever had a problem with any other class. She was always there to help. So Good. What are your plans for next year? Um, next year, I'm going to be attending GCC um, to do business management. I'm staying local. That way I can keep my job at JCPenney's and work from there. So, All right, Good. What kind of advice would you have for somebody that's new to Batavia High School? I would definitely recommend getting involved. Um, being involved in like sports and activities, you just feel more welcomed in the school and you can make a lot more friends that way. And it's, it's something you will always remember, so. Okay. All right, so I have your wild card question, all right? Mm -hmm. So who was your favorite principal? And you your choices are your elementary principal, your high school principal, or none of the above. My elementary principal, just element because you were him and you were always a great principal. You were always there for the students whenever they needed help with anything. So uh, <laughs> thank you for not picking none of the above. That would have been <laughs> a little bit. <laughs> All right, Charlie, I'm going to move over to you. Uh, what has been uh, one uh, positive memory that you'll have from Batavia High School? Probably Springfest at the end of the year. That's always really fun to do because it's, you know, you see all of the school come together and, you know, just kind of do, you know, have fun and the school year's over and it's just time for everyone to relax and have fun with their friends and reminisce about the previous year. All right. Nice. What uh, uh, are your plans for next year? Um, so I'm going to be attending Oswego, um, SUNY Oswego in the fall uh, with going for a degree in creative writing. Um, and then, you know, I'm going to try to get a, you know, part-time job up there and just, you know, try to settle in and see where that takes me. All right. Good. Um, who's a teacher that's had a positive impact on you along the way? Miss Prisbiz, definitely, because she's, I had her last year in 11th grade for, um, AP, uh, AP English and, you know, she was always very supportive during that. And then this year, I haven't had her for any classes, but she helped me um, with my creative writing, you know, that I do on my own time. And, um, you know, she's always just there, like whenever I'm, you know, any day that wasn't great in school, I could just go to her classroom after school. And it was just, you know, get away from the halls and everyone out there and and it was just it was very comforting and helpful. All right, good, good. Well, I know that uh, you're already an author. Right? You write a lot. And so uh, your um, wild card question is this. Which of these teachers do you think uh, might write an award-winning novel? All right, which of these teachers do you think could write an award-winning novel? And you can choose between Mr. Krause, Mrs. Tenebruso, Mr. Weischer or Mrs. George? Oh, that's that's tough. I, hmm. I mean, it's probably Miss Tenebruso since she's the writer out of all of them. But if Mr. <laughs> Weischer came up with something, I feel like any book that he wrote would be very, um, very intriguing to a lot of people and would get a lot of attention. I don't know if it if, if that's a good thing or not, though. So. <laughs> 
I, I think I agree with you. He he might need a ghostwriter helping him out <laughs> with that, but um, it definitely would be intriguing. Well, I wanted to thank both of you uh, uh, just for coming on and talking with me today. But uh, more than that, I've known both of you since you were about five years old. And, um, you know, more than just great students, you're really great people that I've uh, just enjoyed uh, getting to know over the years and really appreciate you coming on and talking to me today. Thank you. Thank you.